All right, guys, it's your friendly reminder to change out your RO filter. A good water source is always great for reef tank. You don't have a good water source, don't have zero TDS water close to it, you're gonna have issues, you're gonna run into algae, you're gonna run into nasty stuff. Oh, that's nasty. God dang, the thing's on there. Can you guess which one's new, which one's old? No one will ever know. Hey guys, what's up? Brian here, welcome back to another episode on Saltfish TV. So in this video, the Cade is getting new coral. This was shot a little over maybe a week ago. I actually got this coral shipment in from two different places. The first one is from Everything Salty or EverythingSalty.com. And the second place is from It's Quirky's Reef over on Instagram. So if you have the time, check them out. They're really cool people. They're really nice guys. They both have some super awesome fire corals as you'll see. So real quick, I just wanted to give a big shout out to Courtney Witt because she left a comment saying that she appreciates and I'm sharing my aquariums and the videos with us as in you guys. And I think that's really awesome. It, it warms my heart. It makes me feel good and it fuels me to keep making videos. So thank you so much. Love these comments. Big box, small box. All right, so in this small box we got, this is the one from It's Quirky's Reef. It's a moldy cupcake. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, this is the Acantho, Acanthophilia. These get really nice once they get settled in. They look like super nice meaty corals that just lay down on the sand. Awesome, awesome bottom dwellers. And this one, I didn't even know what it was. It's a freebie. It's an alveopora. Ah, the big box time. So this is the one that's from Everything Salty or Rob. Rob's a one man shop. You can get your quarantine, fully quarantined fish. So then you can just plop them straight into the tank and not have to worry about pests. All right, so in this bag, I'm pretty sure this is what is holding our Indo Gold torch, or AKA uh, Nick's torch, and the hammer. This one has some more bottom dollars as well. That's a Tracky, a Tracheophilia, and an eight, another Acantho. Like, but this one, oh man, I can't wait! I can't wait for you guys to see it under the blues. It's so nice. Ooh, there it is in the bag even got colors in the bag this one when I pulled it out I was like what is this but this one see I'm confused this one there it is it's a goni or goniopora it's a really nice one that glows but wait where's the other bag there's another bag there's supposed to be another bag oh yeah that's right it was in the sump Beautiful, beautiful Pentel Rass. Be free, little guy, be free. Eh, don't worry, he didn't bully him. He was just checking him out. He's like, what's going on in my tank? Who's this new guy? All right, so this is just the show that I did dip my corals, so you don't just see me putting them straight into the tank. Highly, highly recommend, no matter where you get your corals from, to dip them. The left bowl, big bowl, is where I actually dip. I use Milifix and Coral Air RX Pro, and on the right is where I do my iodine type uh, dip, I guess. 
I just like to do that because corals get kind of stressed out when you dip them and iodine dip helps them to uh, just feel good and to get acclimated to the tank a lot easier. That's what I think. And then once I was done dipping them and putting them in the iodine dip to wash off the dip as well, I put them in the sump to help get them uh, used to the tank parameters while I'm dipping the other corals. By the way, this process took five hours. Here's our iodine dip bowl as well. I have some frag plates soaking in the water. Now what I'm doing is super gluing them to the plates so they can have a sturdier base so that you don't have the pegs from you know regular frag plugs on the bottom so that you can easily put them on the sand bed without them falling over or anything. This glue is actually really good but I normally use I normally use the Gorilla Glue. This glue sets like in seconds. It's insane. It's really good. I I do recommend it. The old twist and jiggle until it's nice and solid. Some firm pressure on there as well. Hold it in place. So I've also noticed with these uh, frag plates, the smooth side works a lot better and the, with the glue and the coral, they adhere a lot faster and better than the rough side. Just a little F FYI. First things first, I had this GSP in here or Green Star Polyps for a little while. It's actually starting to grow over the plates and I didn't want it in a sand bed. This is its final resting place. It's going to be a nice, nice backdrop. Does anybody else do a GSP backdrop? Drop a comment down below.
We got Susan out here supervising everything. Now what you're seeing is a few days after being in the tank, everyone's getting settled in. The trackie is actually unfolding and looking quite delicious. Everything is opening up. The alveopora took a little bit longer. It arrived to me in already rough shape, but hey, if I can bring it back to life, then it's a miracle. Gilney out there, uh, maybe half extended. They take a little while to get settled in. Ooh, the hammer and the torch looking good. These acanthos, they're so beautiful. Look how bright that is. It's insane. And one on the left, I really like this one because it's not its not a color scheme you see all the time. It actually ended up turning a little bit more blue with some nice orange dots on it. Polka dots. And now what you're seeing is the, all the corals after one whole week of being in the tank, the GSP is doing all right with their move. And look at the goni, it's even more extended. Oh, now I know why they're called the flower pot. Ooh, look at that movement. Oh, beautiful, look at this. They're opening up, they're laying down on the sand, laying down the skirts. Absolutely gorgeous corals, I love these. Goni's a bit in there, it's uh, closer to lights out, but I just wanted to show you how they look under the blues. Look at the tracky. Wow. I, 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 I love these corals. They're so nice. I love the meaty, meaty corals, the sandbag corals. Comment down below. Do you have any? Let me know what type. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you'll stick around. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. You know, all the above. Support the channel, support me, support the aquariums. <laughs> also just wanna say thank you so much to my subscribers and those of you that keep returning and watching my videos, I appreciate each and every single one of you. And if you're new, I appreciate you for watching as well. Well guys, I think it's time to get going. I hear my, oh crap, I hear my RODI overflowing. Time to go.